What is going on you guys? This is Ryan back in with the Madden 18 Ultimate Team video. Another Market Monday where I help you guys make coins throughout the week. Now I know a lot of people have been kind of upset with the market not being fully crashed during most feared. But right now we do have some pretty nice things in Madden Ultimate Team to pass the time until the cards start coming back down. We do have the new gauntlet solos out here. The legendary solos here in the gauntlet. Uh, the last five which you do have to win the game with 10 seconds remaining against the Baltimore Ravens. This solo is going to be on rookie. Do not allow any yards on one drive. That's going to be on all Madden. Uh, this is going to be on all pros. 65 plus rushing yards in six attempts. 200 plus offensive yards allow three or fewer points in one half. And then the gauntlet exception where you have to do pretty much everything it says in that little string right there. And do not allow basically anything. Just control the ball score a touchdown on every drive which i didn't even realize that someone ended up telling me after i already finished i might be able to go back and get the elite wide receiver pack which it does give you a random wide receiver that is elite um and i think uh i'm not sure if it's just one pack or if it's like a fantasy type pack um but you also do get a gauntlet trophy here for this string and a gauntlet trophy for the previous string as well and then also in rookie you get some nice uh, little rewards here as well uh, but the main thing is in that legendary string of solo challenges you do get yourself an elite defensive fantasy pack and people are pulling 90 overalls like crazy i do have my pack i'm getting ready to rip it and see what we can get and uh yeah it's gonna be pretty cool hopefully i can get something that i can use on my team when i make my full team uh, we're currently up to 7.26, uh, trying to at least get up to like maybe 8 mil or so. Just try to spend as many coins as I can on a team just to see what's going on. But uh, right before we get into that pack, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here uh, for the current market and just see if anything is going down at all. Uh, we are going to take a look at corners, usually to tell if the market is up or down. Just take a look at the 90 overall corners because if they're down, then that means other things are coming down as well. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. We do have Terrence Newman for 359, which is still pretty high. He was at like two, I think 245. So, I mean, he's coming down a little bit, but not too much. AJ Boye down to 381. Sherman's down from 500 down to 400. Uh, we have a couple of Rod Woodson's up there for like almost 350K, 400K. Uh, so things are slightly coming down, but nothing too crazy as of yet. Like I said, we're really just waiting for some new content in Most Feared. And, uh, you know, with the cards morphing near the end of the month, I'm not sure that it would be wise for EA to just give us what we have now and only that. Like, I really feel like something else is going to come to Madden uh, in the Most Feared promo. I thought it may have been today based on what Rex said, because, you know, when Rex made that tweet, I didn't say it in yesterday's video, but when Rex made that tweet, it was Thursday, the day before Most Feared, but that's when we got all the videos showing what Most Feared was all about, and then some people were complaining, like, this doesn't even really look all that good, and, you know, Scomo said what he said, and then Rex ended up saying, you know, come back to me at the end of the week, and if you're still feeling this way, then, you know, whatever, uh, basically implying that, Something good is coming to Madden Ultimate Team by the end of the week. So what in the world was he talking about? Maybe something tomorrow. Maybe something was supposed to come today and they delayed it. Or maybe he was just talking about this gauntlet uh, update where we did get a new gauntlet overall play or 90 overall left tackle uh, in the new gauntlet um, sets. Or And then, of course, maybe he was talking about the elite defensive fantasy pack that we get. Maybe a free 90 out of it if we're lucky. So this is what we ended up getting. I don't have live reactions towards it. I was just sitting in a Skype call with my buddies. I really wasn't expecting anything good. I just wanted to more so do a video, um, you know, just doing a voiceover overview of what we ended up getting and what you guys could expect. So right there, 88 overall Olivier Vernon, 88 overall Fletcher Cox. And this is really good for me because I don't usually really run um, two defensive tackles a lot. And if I buy my team, which I'm expecting to get a whole ton of really, really good players, um, I really am going to need a secondary DT that does have that chem of read and react. And I think what I'm going to end up doing here, uh, or what I did end up doing, was I took the Fletcher Cox. Because it's going to be something that maybe I can use occasionally if I come out maybe like a 4-3. A or, you know, another formation where I need to have a secondary DT. Uh, in place of maybe like a Mean Joe Green if I end up getting him. Or maybe I'll just go kind of like a cheaper route and or still a really good route. And get myself the uh, Geno Atkins. Uh, flashback which is a really really good card and then I have the Fletcher Cox um, he's not better than Danny Shelton and really anything but the speed is so much higher and then everything else is pretty much almost close 
or a little bit better than Danny Shelton. So it's just kind of like, eh, he's kind of a little bit better than him. I'll definitely take it. But now let's go ahead and talk about uh, what in the world is going on with these gold cards. So usually uh, this website right here, when I show you guys on Daddy Leagues, if the number at the bottom of the screen is high, that means the overall prices of golds are up. Now, I know it says estimated cost to complete the man of the month. Some people were saying the last time I made a video about this, uh, it's, they were saying like it doesn't take that many coins to complete man of the month. This is stupid. This doesn't make any sense. It's not what you think it is. Like most of the time when you're completing the man of the month, you already have, you know, gold cards in your binder. You already have... Um, you know solo challenges done and you already have some of the team leaders and stuff what this website shows you is What it would cost to do it from scratch what I mean from scratch is going from nothing Buying every single card you would need to make all the team leaders Doing no solo challenges at all and then having enough to get those last elite solo challenges beaten and then play to get yourself that uh, collectible needed for the man of the month for Khalil Mack and for um, OBJ. That means you would have to get all of them through just buying stuff off the auction. That's why the number says 6.5 mil. What they're explaining is if you buy every single one of these cards out and make every single team leader without getting any of them from solos, that's how much it would cost. So that pretty much just tells you the total cost. If the number is high, that means sell. If the number is low, low being maybe under 5 mil, don't sell. If it's over 5.5 mil, I would recommend selling. And right now, it's just a million over 5.5. At 6.5, the highest it has been the entire month. I would definitely recommend right now to sell your gold cards if you're holding on to them because you felt like they weren't going for anything at all. Right now is the time to sell. Opening up pro packs right now is really good as well because the golds are so high. Uh, right here, we see the Kansas City Chiefs up for 5,800. Denver Broncos, 7,100. Just getting a Denver Broncos 75 overall makes all your coins back in the pack with everything else in the pack. Uh, Washington Redskins up for 4K. We have the Detroit Lions, 3,900. Packers, 3,600. Um, Vikings, 3,300. The Titans, uh, 70 overall golds are up to 2,500. And just so on and so forth. Really, really good prices right now for golds. I would recommend selling, 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 and getting them all out of your binder. And then, like me, hope and pray that something else comes out in Most Feared where we can see another market crash. And then, if it does crash, don't wait this time, guys. Immediately buy out what you need for your team. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say the market really did not crash at all, but it really kind of did. It crashed right before the promo. I've said this in a couple of videos. It did crash. A lot of people were expecting the crash. And that's when a team should have been purchased by a lot of us. We made a couple of a uh, little bit of errors and mistakes in trying to predict what was going to happen. And, you know, like some people have been saying in the comments, it's only predictions. I'm not a genie. I'm not going to be able to always be right about everything. It was just a prediction that, you know, the market would crash during Most Feared. But, you know, hopefully we could still see it do that with the release of some cards and packs. Because, you know, once something is in packs with Most Feared, Everybody is going to be trying to get it, and I would not put it past them. We've seen in the past where new cards were added the most feared, um, kind of near the time they would morph, where you could get a limited edition, super, super good card, like a JJ Watt or something like that. So don't be a little bit too discouraged in yourself if you feel like you're not going to get anything else in this promo, because I feel like something else is going to come. But hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit. Market Mondays are always pretty cool to break down the market, talk about what's going on with the state of Madden 18 Ultimate Team, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.